Hello class, good to see you again. This is American English File, second edition, book two, student book, parts five and six, review and check. Grammar, everybody circle A, B or C. Stop the video and do it yourself. Very good. Now check your answers with your friends. All right. Okay, let's do it together. Number one, she drives faster than her brother. Comparison, right? It's a comparative. Number two, his new book isn't as good as his last one. Number three, women spend less time cooking than in the past. Number four, Friday is the busiest day of the week. Number five, it's the most dangerous road in the world. Superlative. Number six, it's the hottest country I've ever been to. Number seven, my sister drinks too much coffee. Number eight, these jeans are too small. Do you have them one size bigger? Number nine, you haven't spent enough time on your homework. Number 10, they're playing really badly. They won't win the game. Number 11, my exam is today. Don't worry, you'll pass. Number 12, it's cold in here. I'll close the window. Number 13, they met for the first time when they were living in Istanbul. Number 14, have you been to the US? Yes, I went to New York last year. And number 15, is she working today? No, she is on vacation. Everybody, on vacation. Well done, let's move on. Vocabulary exercises. Everybody, we have four exercises. A, B, C, and D. A. Circle the right verb or phrase. B. Write the opposite verb. C. Write words for the definitions. And exercise D. Complete the sentences with a preposition. As always, you know the drill. Stop the video and do it. Just you. Okay. Now, check your answers with your friends. Take your time. Now let's do it together. Number one. I waste a lot of time playing games on my phone. Not good. Number two. We spend a lot of time sitting in our cars every day. Number three. Can you lend me $50? Number four. I'm leaving tonight and I'm coming back on Friday. Number five. This is Ben. He's teaching me to play the piano. Okay, exercise B, the opposite verbs. Number one, buy, sell. Number two, push, pull. Number three, remember, forget. Number four, pass, fail. Number five, teach, learn. Okay, now you have to write words for the definitions. Okay, number one, crowded. It's an adjective. Full of people or things. Number two. Safe. It's an adjective. Opposite of dangerous. Number three. Noisy. Opposite of quiet. Number four. South. Opposite of north. Number five. Museum. A, a building where you can see old things. Number six. Palace. The place where a king or queen lives. Number seven, mosque, a religious building for Muslims. Number eight, bones, you have 206 of these in your body. Number nine, brain, the organ we use to think. Number 10, skin, it covers the outside of your body. So far, so good. The last exercise, the prepositions. Number one. My husband's always late. He's never on time for anything. Number two. 
Are you interested in this TV show? Number three. When I was a child, I was afraid of dogs. Number four. I'd really like to be good at dancing. And number five. Eating too many cookies is bad for you. Well done. You did very good. Pronunciation. Everybody circle the word with a different sound. Okay, let's do it together. Number one, boots. Two, lose, polluted, much, much. Egg, eat, many, healthy, lens, eat. Clock, ah, lot, won't, box, doctor, won't. Owl, ow, shower, now, snow, towel, snow. And keys, key, k, receive, castle, mosque, active, of course, receive. And everybody underline the stressed syllable. Impatience, interesting. Invent, practice, decide. Nicely done. Good, you made it so far. Now we have a reading. Can music really make you run faster? Now everybody read the text once. Does the journalist think music made him run faster? Now I'm gonna wait for you. Read it and answer this question. This is on you a few moments later good you're back now first let's read it together costas karagorgis a sports psychologist calls music sports legal drug he says that exercising with music can improve athletic performance by 15 percent the music must be carefully chosen so that the tempo or beat is synchronized with the exercise you are doing. According to Professor Karagorgis, music also makes you feel less pain and makes an exercise session less boring and more enjoyable. Gym Chain Fitness First recognizes the importance of music to workouts and plays music in all its clubs. The most popular song for male gym members is Survivor's Eye of the Tiger, while women love others dancing queen music works well with weight lifting and other repetitive actions but it can also help with running the best example of this is Haley Gebreselassi perhaps the world's greatest distance runner who used the techno pop song Scatman as a metronome when he broke the world 2000 meter record all right but if music was so important to Gebreselassi why do other top runners never race with headphones? Karagorgis says research has shown that for most top athletes, music is less effective. Elite athletes focus more on their bodies and less on outside stimuli like music. So although music can help amateur runners run faster and further, most top athletes prefer silence. I decided to try running with music myself. I was going to run a half marathon and a sports doctor gave me the perfect playlist of songs for running. When I did the race, I found that some of the tracks like One Cleats Walking On Me made running easier. Others made me want to throw away the MP3 player. When I crossed the line, I had beaten my previous personal best by one minute. But was it because of the music? To be honest, I felt it was probably because of the extra training. Well done. So, does the journalist think music made him run faster? No, he doesn't. Now, everybody read the text again and mark the sentences true or false. Again, this is on you. A few minutes later. Okay, check your answers with your friends. Let's answer it together number one the psychologist says that all kinds of music can help us exercise better false he says that exercise is more fun with music true men and women prefer different music when they exercise true music helps Haley Gipreselasi 
break a record. True. Most top athletes use music when they run. False. Number six. Music can help amateur runners to run faster. True. Number seven. The journalist chose his music for the marathon. False. The doctor gave it to him. Number eight. All the songs helped him run faster. False. All right. Now, everybody, there are some highlighted words. I need you to check them in your dictionary or your Google Translate and tell them to your partner. Well done. People on the street. Everybody watch the clip and answer these five questions. Choose A, B or C. Let's do it. <music> Do you have more free time than three years ago? Why? Yes, because um, I had a part-time job then. Now I'm fully retired. What's the most beautiful city you've ever been to? Oh, probably Paris. Why? Oh, just the, the architecture and the layout. And the culture. Do you think you have a healthy diet? No. Why? Um, I live off of chips and cookies and ice cream. Um, I'm probably the most unhealthy out of all of my friends. Are you an optimist? or a pessimist? I don't know. My friends would probably say that I'm a pessimist, but I would like to think that I'm an optimist. Do you often dream about the same thing? I have recurring dreams about being chased, usually. Do you often have bad dreams? Depending on what's going on in my life, if I'm having a, a tough time at work, then I'll usually dream about bad things happening at work. Okay, so let's answer the questions. Three years ago, Ian was working part-time, number two. When Wells talks about why he loves Paris, he doesn't mention the scenery. Gianna it's too much junk food. And number four, Jana says her friends think she is a pessimist. Number five, Anya often has bad dreams when she's having problems at work. Nicely done. Okay, now answer me. Can you compare two members of your family using adjectives and adverbs? Yes. Can you talk about your town using four superlatives? The biggest, the best, the noisiest, right? Yes. Can you talk about your diet using not enough and too much and too many? Of course. Can you make three predictions about the future using will or won't? Of course you can do it. And can you make a promise, an offer, and a decision using will or won't? Yeah, I just taught you this. Well done. And this is the fun part. We're going to watch a short movie about Chicago. Watch and enjoy the movie. Chicago is the largest city in the U.S. state of Illinois. Some of the things it is famous for are pizza, gangsters, and sports. This is Wrigley Field, home to the Chicago Cubs, Chicago's oldest baseball team. Many American people call Chicago the second city because for a hundred years it had the second biggest population in the country. It was smaller than New York but until the 1980s, it was bigger than every other American city. 
Today, Chicago is a very popular tourist destination. Every year, over 30 million people visit the city. They go to the Millennium Park, the newest park in Chicago. They walk along the shore of Lake Michigan, the second largest of the five Great Lakes. And they admire the view from the top of the Willis Tower. The Willis Tower used to be called the Sears Tower. And for 25 years, it was the tallest building in the world. In 1969, Sears Roebuck and Company, the largest department store chain in the world at that time, built the tower to use as office blocks. Today, the skyscraper is one of the most popular tourist attractions in the city. It is still the tallest skyscraper in the US, but it isn't as tall as the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. or the Patronus Twin Towers in Kuala Lumpur. Chicago's other famous nickname is the Windy City. People say that it is windier than other major cities, but weather experts disagree. In fact, scientists predict that Chicago will have a very different climate in the future. They say that it won't be as cold and windy as it is now, but will be warmer and wetter. This will mean many changes, but Chicago is further ahead than most other cities in its preparations for climate change. The city is constructing new, environmentally friendly buildings, planning more parks and green areas, and placing big hedges alongside the city's pathways. Chicago is also investing in new roads and car parks for electric cars. Chicago is a changing city. The Windy City's famous climate is going to become much warmer. Chicago will be a hotter, more tropical place than it is today. This will cause problems, but at the moment, America's second city is one of the first places to properly deal with pollution and climate change. Good. Now, what I need you to do is to describe your city, your town, your favorite place to your partner. Time to speak. Do it. And that's the practice for today. Thank you for watching my clips. If you find them useful, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have a question, you can comment it down below and I will answer you at my earliest convenience as soon as possible. Until then, my friends.